Hey everyone, so I'm going to do an update on both uh, Revulsion and uh, an update on what's currently going on with uh, uh, X-Alive. Revulsion will be the main focus of this video though because uh, there's, a, uh, there's a need to get a bug fixed and this time I'm going to be hitting this a lot harder. I thought maybe that the bug would have been easier to fix. I thought it was fixed and it apparently isn't fixed. And that is the door bug. It looks like it spawns two doors in the same spot. And one of the doors is and it ends up being locked. That needs to get fixed. I'm very sorry that this is still a problem. I keep thinking that it's done. I keep fig I, I. So what I'm literally going to do at this point in time is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rework the entire door, door spawning code um, functionality. And I'll try and get this patch out in the next couple of days. That makes it so that uh, it explicitly checks the existence of all doors and checks to see each door checks to see if there's another door near that door. Okay, and I guess I should have already done it that way in the first place. I was just kind of surprised because this didn't seem to be a problem, at least for a while. But I guess it's been around a lot longer than I thought it was. And I swear I played the hell out of this game. And I don't know how it's still a thing. The problem actually is a little bit weirder than that because it doesn't appear in the editor it appears I guess in game so um yeah alright I'm gonna go ahead and let's see I, I guess that's that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, make sure that this is this is something that gets fixed in the next couple of days there should be uh, a sale very soon as well uh, revulsion will be going on another 50% sale uh, for I guess it'll be like a Halloween kind of a sale or something like that. I'll make sure I get this patch out in the next couple of days so that people who are jumping in uh, with the new sale, uh, you know, uh, don't have a bad time or anything like that. I really hope this isn't going to be something that keeps sticking around. If that's the case, if this ends up being a problem that is still sticking around, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to actually go through the extra trouble of uh, actually... Maybe even considering just getting rid of the random gen levels. With that said, though, I'm pretty sure it can be solved. So, uh, with that said, let's see. Let me roll over to what's going on with XAlive at the moment. Now, XAlive development is moving along at a pretty nice pace. Um, but one of the things that I've been, uh, you know, trying to figure out is how to get the icon system uh, working properly when you are in a uh, uh, you, like it I want functionality in place where it automatically generates the icons in real time whenever you're currently in the world um, you know actually playing the game so like all of the different objects in the editor and stuff like that so I have actually had to kind of devise a new technique that actually I don't know it seems to work pretty well and it gives a little bit of flexibility in terms of what needs to happen um, so this is going to be like when you go into the editor mode and if you look at, you see how these icons right here? Now there's still some functionality that I need to get in place for like making sure that the objects are the proper size and everything like that. But you'll notice that now as I'm sort of switching through, each of the icons is actually a snapshot of the actual object. And um, this will include the, you know, the textures and everything like that that goes along with it. Uh, it's not currently done yet. This, this technique in order to do this isn't isn't extremely elegant but it does allow for extra functionality like actually being able to have the item like rotating in the icon itself like I can actually at any point in time tell one of these item you know one of these things that it can uh, then it can become real time and actually rendering which is pretty cool I think so um, you'll actually like possibly see like whenever you bring this up and it's you know it's in the viewport or whatever it's something that's actually visible right now it'll actually tell it to make this these things like little rotating icons so all the ones that you can currently see right now will be like little rotating ones and that makes it so it's a little easier to tell exactly what it is that you're looking at because some of these are just you know not really the greatest angles or whatever um so yeah now that i have that kind of figured out right now oh yeah it even allows for me to do like border and stuff like that. I can render a border around the actual outside of the icon. 
uh, now that I have that functionality in place, we should be in pretty good shape for moving forward on things as well. Now, I, I know I should probably have done two separate videos on this. Uh, the revulsion thing de definitely uh, is, a, is a big concern of mine, and I need, I need to get that fixed permanently. Kill it with a, with a fire. Okay, that has to get done. Um, so, yeah, but um, there's actually a couple of other things that I could bring up real quick that are on my mind. One of them is, this is a really great post right here, actually. I should, if you think building indoors wouldn't be common, all that means is that, is that the indoor areas are not interesting. Actually, this really struck a chord. This is very true. This is very, 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 very true, right? Um, I really cannot stress enough how important it is to make sure that areas feel inherently worthwhile. I have a technique that I'm going to suggest that I can uh, actually pull off with this. Exploration really needs to be a priority in a game like this. Basically, the environment should make people feel something that um, doesn't really matter what it is as long as it's not too far off from what you intended. I want to. I want people to feel like there are a lot of large and cool areas, but not necessarily feel like they're trapped in a maze. The worst thing you could do uh, could do would be to make a giant map that only acts as a background, which no one uh, pays any real attention to. I get the impression that you uh, that you understand this, but again, I, don't, I, I do not feel it's I do not feel its importance can be overstated. I 100% agree. So um, so on that note, what I'm going what I'm actually really considering doing is each of the actual like outdoor biomes will be part of a a uh, a type of um, a dome area, right? And the dome areas will kind of be like these really tall sort of sectioned off areas. Now, all of the main areas where I want all of the, the, the main traffic, all of the, will be these bigger, larger hallways that have tons of like side areas that you can go to, but are essentially just more like open like highways or tram, you know, paths for trams and, and things of that nature. So in other words, I'm sort of like setting it up like blood, you know, like arteries um, for, uh, you know, sending blood around the body. You have the really big path paths that all kind of exist, right? And those sort of section off and then connect the big dome areas. But then there's a ton of side areas and different side connections and miniature areas that all have their own little, like, um, their own little meaning. Like each of these areas actually have kind of their own little, uh, mini quests or things that can you know events that can that can pop up that are unique to those areas like that right so now that i got the icon thing mostly figured out i just need to hook it up and make sure that i have something in place that's uh okay it doesn't seem to be too performance intensive i'm going to be starting to focus on the actual level design aspect um of course this is all going to happen after i fix the bug with revulsion revulsion is uh going to take priority for the next couple of days at the most I probably will have it fixed tonight because what I want to do is probably not even really that complicated I'm just going to do a I'm just adding an additional check to make sure that there are two there are no two uh, there's never a time when there are two doors on top of each other under any circumstance within the random generation system that should solve that problem um which is weird because I thought I already did that, but I'm going to be explicitly checking every door on the entire map uh, after everything is already generated. I'm going to be like really super careful about how I implement that system. And then from there, I'm going to be, uh, you know, later this week, I'll have the icon system uh, figured out. And then I'm going to begin building out a basic block out of how I want the worlds to exist within X Alive. And I want to get people playing X Alive sooner than later. I actually want to have this game developed um, where people are able to play it very early. Very, very early. I'm not going to um, develop this game in a bubble. I want to have uh, something that's actually playable within the next couple of months uh, very, at a very baseline. Like you have base building, you have resources, thirst, hunger, and things like that. Even if the creatures, uh, for a little bit, look like blocks, I don't care. Uh, or, you know, or just like very, very simplistic things. 
or even if I use uh, something that just represents the creatures, for a little while, I want to have uh, the core loop of the game be fun as possible. The survival aspects, the exploration aspects, and everything like that. So that's going to be a very high priority, and I want to have that in place. Um, with that said, looks like the sun's coming up. Yeah. So the sun kind of moves really quickly. Right now the day-night cycles are 24 hours each. And uh, one of the things that I was actually considering with this world is that the whole thing could be in a, uh, Dyson, a, a Dyson ring. Which actually sounds kind of like really cool, like um, onion rings or something that you can get at like a, you know, a water burger or something. Dyson rings. Get your Dyson's rings now. At Ninety-nine cents. You too can enjoy the succulent onion. Uh, so anyway, um, <laughs> well, okay, all right, that's good enough for now. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna end this. Uh, hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot more stuff. Expect the next update to, to be uh, revulsion related. I'll probably be going over all that. But yeah, I definitely want to have something playable with X Alive sooner than later. I'm not sure if I'll put it on Steam um, so that people can download it more easily or something like that. So that it's not like a, uh, um, you know, something that you have to download off of my uh, Google Drive or something like that. Like I can actually have... Like, people use, like, test keys or beta keys or whatever. Uh, well, I'm pretty far away from beta. Anyway, all right, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. Take it easy, and uh, stay tuned for more.